Can you get some lights here? That's better. Turn your lights on. That's one way of use energy. For the alternative energy kit, we keep it hard like this one is running on. It keeps track of different sources of energy and what they can do. What energy is can be complicated, but in this case, we teach that energy is something that can make things happen, move, or change. In sessions, it gives us for wind energy and solar energy. There are two alternatives to use fossil fuels. Fossil fuels? You mean wind fossils get energy? Yep. Coal, natural gas, crude oil, and fuels made from crude oil, like gasoline and propane, are all fossil fuels. They're made from ancient dead plants and animals. People rely heavily on fossil fuels. There are lots of problems with using them. In each session, there's one question card that focuses on some of the problems with using fossil fuels. In session one, they could get solar cells, motors, wires, and light emitting diodes, LEDs, and cooperate throughout half of them together. And when everything's protected, right? The solar cell absorbs light energy from the sun and turns into electricity, which passes through the wires. And that either makes the motor spin or the LED light up. It can be really hard to see if the little rod is spinning or not. So just put a piece of tape on it, like this. So you can see. And if the room's right and it's hard to see the LED is lighting up, just pop your hands around it like that. Don't show the kids how to connect everything, because figuring it out is a lot of fun. But here's how you do it, just so you know. Okay. Take the wires, put it on the silvery part on the end of the solar cell. Okay. And now, take the wire and put it onto the little tab on the bottom. Do the same thing with the other one. You'll want to test this outside by sunny window and really use energy from the sun. But so we can cut that now, we're going to use a lamp. Yeah, let's start here. Use the motor with a tape on it. Can you see that? Oh, wow. Very cool. You want to have the um, okay, here's the motor? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Very cool. Love that. It works. So, if you do use the lamp inside, be very careful because you can burn yourself in the ball. In session two, small groups work together to design and build devices that can run their solar motors. So, for example, here is the Ferris wheel. This is a blender. December? Oh, yeah. Like this. Very cool. In session three, kids explore wind energy and make wind turbines. Wind turbines are wind power machines that we use to work for us. Like a windmill? The kind of a windmill that wind turbines generate electricity. Each pair of kids gets one of these, copied out of the back of the handbook. Then they cut it out to look like this. Then fold the edges to look like this. Use push pin, push it into the end of pencil eraser, and then take the pencil to a cup. Make sure that the wind is hitting the face of the wind turbine, not the side. And if this is infinite feeling, just wiggle the pin a little bit in order to make hole there. After they complete their basic wind turbine, you can get new material, design, and new wind turbine. Let kids test wind turbines outside and encourage them to find the readiest place possible. If it's not windy, then blow on them or use a van. Use a van? Sorry. Okay. That's cool. Good. In session four, kids design towns that use less fossil fuel transportation. They use stickers like these to make towns like these. The alternative energy kit gives children a chance to explore energy sources other than fossil fuels. It helps them learn that energy comes from somewhere and how they use energy can make a difference. Bye. They provide by Oracle, the Noy Foundation, the S.D. Beckett Jr. Foundation, the Dave and Lucille Packard Foundation, and the Seed Elfun.